Guess which prominent former US president doesn't have a presidential library? Amazingly, one of our most impressive leaders, who I've heard many people describe as their favorite historical president, 26th president, Theodore Roosevelt. You'd think that Teddy Roosevelt's birth state of New York would have long ago created a library for its native son, where he also served as governor. But of course, the Democrats in charge there are more focused on pandering to their far left extremist base. Disgracefully, they actually took down the Teddy Roosevelt statue outside the American Museum of Natural History after more than 80 years. But here's the good news. Another state is stepping up and giving Roosevelt the honor and the presidential library he deserves, North Dakota where Teddy Roosevelt had a deep and lifelong connection. And it seems only fitting that the man responsible for the founding of the U.S. Forest Service will have his library located on 90 acres of U.S. Forest Service land, near where he ranched and hunted in the Medora Badlands. Even his famous bronze statue will be there. The library is slated to open in the next few years, more than 100 years after Teddy died, funded mainly by private donations. Back with us now is one of the people who helped make it all happen, North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum. Governor, great to see you again. Um, tell us the story here. Well, Steve, this is an incredible part of American history. On February 14th, 1884, Theodore Roosevelt suffered uh, incredible grief. He lost his wife and his mother in the same house on the same day. He wrote in his diary that day, and his diary is still at the National Archives, just an X, and it said, the light in my life has gone out. He got on the train, he came to North Dakota, and over the next four years, ranching there, transformed himself from an Easterner to a rugged Westerner. This is the Roosevelt that led the charge up San Juan Hill, the, the only president ever to win a Medal of Honor. He helped transform, after he transformed himself, he transformed America, the American century. What he did for leadership, what he did for citizenship, what he did for conservation still lives with us today. And we're building a state-of-the-art, interactive, incredible, world-class library for him right outside the only national park in our system named after an individual. It is amazing. I mean, just looking at the pictures, we're all seeing that some of the kind of um, uh, drawings of what it's going to look like. It looks absolutely fantastic. Um, and will it be easy to get to? I mean, it's, it's, it looks great, but how does it fit into how people can visit your state at the moment? Well, it's going to be super easy to get there because uh, there, of the 64 national parks, there's only a couple that have an interstate highway adjacent to them. So Interstate 94 is only miles away from where, where this presidential library is going to be. Uh, we already have hundreds of thousands of visitors that are, that are coming to the national park every summer. We expect, with the library being added to that, that this will be the most visited presidential library in the country. Uh, and again, this is a museum that kids will be dragging their parents to versus parents dragging their kids to. It's not about dusty old objects underneath underneath the glass. This is going to be a digital, world-class, interactive, full of experiences. It'll be the only presidential library you can ride a horse to, you can ride a mountain bike to, you can hike to. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Fantastic. I'm, def I'm dying to go, and now I definitely want to ride there. That, that, that would be sounds a lot of fun. What about... Um, I, mean, I mentioned earlier about you know private donations and people. I mean, can people get involved still? What's the if people want to find out more or get involved in all this? How do they do that? Well, absolutely, they can uh, go online. Uh, TR Library uh, is the website. Uh, go there. We we there'll be an a, an entire uh, wave of people that are get get behind this. But right now, during the silent phase of the campaign, we've raised nearly two hundred million dollars. Uh, for the library wow. during starting during COVID. It's a $350 million project. It'll be one of the most sustainable buildings uh, built in America. Construction starts this spring with a groundbreaking uh, and it's gonna grand opening July 4th, 2026 on the USA 250. The grand opening of the Theodore Roosevelt Presidential Library has already been named an official USA 250 event. Uh, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Fantastic. July the 4th, of course. Fantastic. Absolutely love it. Great to see you, Governor. I love what you had to say about energy. Um, let's, let's stay in touch. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.